Hi booktube! Slightly different perspective today. Um, I'm here with the Friday Reads, and I'm here to tell you that I'm also veering away just for the month of February from my Wrapped Books project because I decided to participate in Canada Reads. Um, if you don't know, Canada Reads is a televised event, televised competition almost, uh, that takes place every March in Canada, um, where five Canadian lesser known celebrities, someone <laughs> may say, um, choose five different books and have a debate about which book fits the theme for that year. And this year's theme is uh, a book that moves you. Um, so I've acquired all the books and that's what I'll be reading in February, along with my continuation of The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. Um, I want to take my time with this um, because it is so enjoyable to read. Um, and I know what's going to happen, so it's really cool seeing all the foreshadowing and everything. Um, that's what some of the tags are. I'm like, oh my god, they they knew, and but they didn't really, doesn't tell you outright. But like the certain hints and stuff, it's just, it's astounding. Anyways, um, let me tell you what I did read. I read Brother, which is selected for, um, for Canada Reads. I read that in one day. Uh, not in one sitting, because I'm all over the place, <laughs> but in one day, um, and it is a wonderful story. It is at times very quiet, but also incredibly impactful. Um, it's a story of two young boys growing up in Scarborough in a not so, um, not so well neighborhood. Um, and you find out, find out at the beginning that the older brother has passed away in a not good way. You're not, you're not told how. Um, and that story is just, man, I think everyone should read that. That is a really good, short, beautiful story. Um, I feel really like I'm really low here. Um, anyways, I've then started reading Suzanne by Anais Barbeau Lavalette, translated by Rhonda Mullins. Um, and this is a really cool story. Um, this is about the author's real-life grandmother, but it's a fictionalized account of her life because she didn't actually know her grandmother. Um, and it's really cool so far. Um, I'm already 55 pages in, and, um, she's going through a lot of history. Um, right now, uh, it was the Depression, um, and we're getting to World War II, um, and it's really cool. Um, and I just have to say something. This is from one of my favorite publishers, uh, Coach House Books here in Canada, and their books always like feel so nice. And the pages, I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but the pages are like textured as well. So it's like a really nice reading experience of like nice thick pages. I just really, really like this. Um, and another one I couldn't find on ebook is Holmes, um, and this is uh, told by Abu Bakar al-Rabia um, and written by Winnie Young. So he's a young boy um, who um, whose family has moved from Iraq as a refugee to Syria and then on to Canada. Um, so this looks like a, an interesting book. Um, Pages aren't as textured, but they are nice and soft. <laughs> I'm gonna comment on the texture of all my books now. And then on my ebook, um, I have the rest of the Canada Reads ones. I'm going through them really fast. A lot of them are really short. This one doesn't look short, um, but it's only, I think it's only 260 pages. It's just because the pages are so thick that it looks so big. Um, and the other books are By Chance Alone by Max Eisen, and that is a a Holocaust memoir, and then The Woo Woo by, her name's escaping me, it would take forever for this to turn on and load. It's a really old model, but it still works, so I'm I'm happy with it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, The Woo Woo uh, by another author, which is a memoir of a young Asian Canadian um, growing up and playing hockey, because that's what Canadians do. Um, I think was the kind of thing that they sold it on. So anyways, yeah, I'll probably get through those quite fast. Um, and that's it for me from 
Friday reads. And uh, I'm just going to disturb my cat. He's eating so he can say hi. Come say hi. He's not very happy. This is a ready. He comes to say hi. Meow. <laughs> okay. Okay.